How to clear system data, storage on iPhone and iPad. Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to clear system data storage on iPhone and iPad. I'm going to show you three ways to do that, and the third trick will work the most. You will see in this video that I clear all of my storage data without wasting too much time. Let's get started. Method one, remove your social apps. Now I'm not saying you should remove all of your social apps and never use them, but actually I'm trying to say that you can delete your social apps and download it again to get some system data storage of your iPhone. If you go to settings, then go to general and click on iPhone, storage here. Now here you can see the most apps that took the most of the system data on. So just delete those apps and install it again. If I scroll down at the bottom of the page, you can see that my system data is 5.51 GB right now. So let's clear it and get some good free space. Method two, remove unwanted apps. Whenever you install new iOS versions or set up a new iPhone, you see most of the apps that you never use like the books or GarageBand. You can basically remove all of these unwanted apps from your iPhone. Like literally how many times you guys have ever used the GarageBand app on your iPhone? Be honest with me. It's been two years since I last used this app. So all you need to do is select your app, tap on it and uninstall it from your iPhone. So that's how you can basically clear your system data storage. Method three, secret trick. If I go to my settings general and then iPhone storage, you can see this is my iPhone system data storage. So let's just use this secret trick to get the most out of free space. All you need to do is just go to general and click on date and time. First disable the set automatically, then add the date of future like that. Now wait for 30 minutes, and if you feel that you are unable to use your iPhone apps, then don't worry. Wait for 30 minutes and restart your iPhone. Now after that, if we go to general iPhone storage, you can see that my iPhone storage has been reduced. Now go back to date and time, and now click on set automatically. As you can see that our system storage have been reduced from 5 GB to 1.07 GB. Isn't it amazing? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this trick. So that's how you can clear system data storage on iPhone and iPad. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel for more content, and I will see you in the next video.